but I did promise you that I will be doing several updates on the house that we do and the first update is going to be a do-it-yourself project. I'm actually sitting on our do-it-yourself project and I did show you guys a little sneak peek on my snapchat if you're not following me, follow me. And it's basically a do-it-yourself window bay bench or seating because you guys saw in the first video of the house tour, you guys saw that we had a beautiful bay window in our living room and wanted to utilize it, not to just leave it empty and just kind of like a weird space. So Andre actually came up with the idea to create our own bench and we're so happy. It turned out awesome. I can't even, I'm so happy with it. So happy. Too much. No, no, not too much. Never too much. <laughs> Before we even decided to do it ourselves, the bench, we actually looked at custom benches, like a contractor coming out and doing it for us. But we got quotes, they came back with minimum of $3,000, upwards over $5,000. Just for the actual raw bench, not including the cushions, not including the padding, nothing. And I think that's pretty ridiculous, but the only reason why it was so expensive is because the size of this window the actual size is what, like 12 feet long and three feet, right? Yeah. Three feet wide. And the cushions were 1500. And the actual cushions, like separate from the bench, which would go to somebody separate, they were charging around $1,500. Upholstered, everything like four to five inch thickness. And then not even including the pillows. <laughs> yeah, it added up really quick. So for the entire bench, it would have cost like upwards $6,000, $7,000 which is ridiculous. We got it, like what, 500? We got it, 500. do it ourselves, we paid less than $500, you guys. Everything, all the pillows, all the cushions, everything, $500, which is a steal. So how do we do it? Yeah, how do we do it? <laughs> That's the question. So first step is you have to figure out what kind of bench you want. Do you want a floating bench? Do you want a covered bench? What do you want? Second step is you actually have to measure and design the process. So Andre's actually an engineer and he has like all the tools that he possibly could need and you what? You designed it in less than a couple of hours? Even less? It was ridiculously fast. It took me like 15 minutes. 15 minutes you guys. He designed it in 15 minutes. So we measured everything, he designed it really quick and then went to our local Home Depot and Lowe's and just checked out the type of wood that we wanted to use. We got three pieces of wood that are two inches thick. 12 inches wide by 12 feet long. Those are really inexpensive. I think we paid like what, 17 bucks for each. And then we measured it and that took about what? Like an hour or so to cut everything? Yeah. Hour, hour and a half. So we cut and the good thing is we have like a big drill, like a saw. A saw. A saw drill. <laughs> a drill, what? And then we just bought some hardware also at Home, Home Depot. And the hardware that we used was actually, you know those doors, the barn doors that they have? They actually sell the hardware. It's like that metal plate that has already screws or holes. The rail. The rail, yeah, like the hard rail. So we took that rail and we- Cut it in half, yeah. literally right we in half. We used that as a support beam. Well, basically you just get creative. You think of what do I want to use? That was, yeah. Yeah, what's mass produced so you can buy it cheap. And then for the legs, we actually bought a stool from Home Goods for about like 50 bucks, mm -hmm. like a bathroom stool or like a vanity stool. We cut off the legs. <laughs> Put them right there. Put them right there. Put them on each corner and that's literally how the support is. It's very good. It it will hold up at least three to three to five people easily on this bench. And yeah, I, I couldn't be any happier with the actual the raw bench, which is great. I love it. Oh my gosh, this is actually so heavy. Look at that. This looks like a table. This could be a table. No, I'm not. Step after we actually figured out and built the frame or the actual bench that you sit on, we had to figure out what kind of cushion seating we wanted to do. And that's where I mentioned we actually checked online, we got a quote, and I got it upwards to $1,500, and that was one of the most basic ones. And I said, Yeah, no, thank you. I'll do it myself. So, what we did, budget friendly, we headed to Walmart and we literally bought a king sized mattress topper that is four inches thick that's memory foam we cut that in half we cut the sides to fit the actual window and we made it into two cushions instead of one because why it looks nice and it fits what we wanted the design to look like and then what we did was we tested out like i said we tested out some sheets like bed sheets twin size they 
they were not good enough i think it was too thin you still could see through them and they kind of had like that i don't know not not enough it wasn't tough enough it didn't feel like a seat it felt like a bed which i didn't want i wanted to feel like a couch or something like that so that's why i went with the throw or the blanket from target which is really nice it has texture on it and it actually feels like a couch which is kind of what we wanted we wanted this to be like the second seating area in the living room and yeah next we went out and got some pillows a bunch of pillows and i think this is where we kind of went crazy we kind of were like yeah let's just buy no we didn't they were, most of them were like they, 15 they, to 20 dollars i'm not saying look expensive i'm saying we bought as many pillows as we could on this on this bed but i think I went we crazy. spent most money on the pillows we did we literally <laughs> spent the most money on pillows we spent like what 250 on pillows <laughs> yeah well so there's about there's 10, 10 pillows 10 here. pillows actually 11 <laughs> 11 so 11 pillows let's say it's 20, 25 bucks average, so you'll have 200 to 250 bucks. Yeah, so it all depends how many pillows you want, how big pillows you want. So we went with like different textures, different colors, but we kind of stayed in the same color theme. We have a lot of beige, we have a little bit of reds, then we have a pop of color in the back. So it's kind of played around with textures and sizes and yeah, I think it came out very well. This is like my dream sitting area here because I edit, I we work from home. It's just watch this people area. yeah watch it's, cars it's, it's a lot of fun actually people watching here love it just sit here it's i don't know i can't ex explain how happy i am with this how this turned out if you guys are interested where we found all of these pillows a majority of them we found at home goods and a lot of them <laughs> really great price and then some of them are from uh this one i believe is nordstrom rack this one is like two years old andre bought it for me from the mall at some kind of boutique. I don't remember what the name is. Is that your favorite? That was your favorite. Yes, this phrase. is my favorite pillow. I always tell them I love you more. <laughs> so yeah, you guys, here's some inspiration. Do something yourself at home. Put your own little mark on it. And it was definitely a fun project to do together, right, babe? Yeah. Best part is we did it ourselves. We saved a lot of time, money, and it came out better than we ever expected. And yeah, we got to be creative. So there you guys have it. This is our first update in the house. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you got a little bit inspired and share with us maybe some of your favorite do-it-yourself projects. We're always looking for ideas as well. Let me know your thoughts. Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. Comment down below. I love you guys very much and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.